Slightly or less. Allen Sweetness Green, black and gold, and in the blue, Jadon Codrington hasn't hit double digits as a pro, but nine out of nine all KOs. And here's Green. He promised to go inside, and he stole, and he has run. Codrington's rolled and left. And it's caught. Over. Over. over in 18 seconds. Allen Green. That's the only punch that seemed to miss. Left hook started it. Yeah. The wrestling, wrestling match. And watch the gloves drop. Oh, that's a fright. What a bonus for the crowd here in Whiz Beach to see, for my money, the most exciting prospect in British boxing at the moment. Nigel Ben in the golden trunks. And that is one punch. And Ian Chandler is down. He's very close to us and he will not get up from that. For my money, it was the first punch of the fight from Ben. Bang on the button. And you've got to say he punches hard and he punches accurately. And poor Ian Chandler. Hey, and he has completely fallen out of those rankings. And going into that Ruiz fight, he looked to be in the most comfortable place in his career. He was on a roll. He had won seven in a row by knockout. And now, Brett Grimsley with the first party. And that looks like it over. is it. Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. James Thunder, no heavyweight power rules. Crawford Grimsley came in tonight's fight trying to prove something. Prove that he was a big man. He could take a punch. He was going to prove that he could deliver a punch. When you go in, I don't care who you are in the heavyweight division, they can all punch. The ring light. A very concerned James Thunder. Yeah, he's still looking. He's still punching. He's still trying to fight. Crawford Grimsley is confused. He's not quite sure what he's supposed to be doing. He's got his hands up. He thinks the fight is still, is still going on. Here's what happened. Boom, no, right on the side of the head. He is working on a nine-win streak and nine-knockout streak after his lone loss in his career back in March of 94. 12-round decision defeat at the hands of Larry Donald. Williams has put together a stretch of 9-0 with nine knockouts. And he is now number six in the world, WBC number four, WBO. And he is now trying to collect as much experience to be as ready as he can be once he makes it to the top and gets a shot. And it may be quicker than we imagine. Seconds into the fight, and it is by Marty Jenkins. You have seen one of the quickest knockouts in pro boxing history. Jeremy Williams here. One punch, which may have been low. Down to the body, up to the head, and correct. The big left hook even knocked Jeremy Williams off balance. Punch on the inside, leaning over, crack, crunching blow right to the point of the chin. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, a world record, 10 seconds of the first round, the winner by knockout, Jeremy Williams! No wins, two losses, one draw from Davenport, Iowa. Please welcome Brendan Burke, a fight record of three wins and no losses all three of those wins coming by way of knockout fighting out of minneapolis let's welcome phil the drill williams he's three and oh all three of his wins by way of knockout and brandon burke zero wins two losses one draw and a heck of a looking ring attire and we're underway here we go oh, oh. Right out of the gate the fastest no, i've ever seen in my oh, life my. he's He's not going to make it. A one, one second, second knockout. This has been submitted to Fight Facts as the, perhaps the fastest knockout in boxing history. Here's the charge. Here's the shot. Goodbye. The bucklage of the knees and Phil Drill rolls to 4 and 0. Oh. Wow, unbelievable.